what up fam welcome back to the channel and i hope everybody's doing well so as you can see we're in the garage it's raining outside also it's pretty cold so i'd rather be in here so today i will be tackling wrapping my antenna now i've never done this before but i'm pretty sure it's easy to take out i'll show you the steps so in the future if you got if you need it for something else hey you can do it what you're gonna need definitely small flathead pry tool set of hands and definitely fold down your seats so here we go all right guys so obviously you can see we're inside the car now you're gonna have to take this portion out right here i call it the old ship bar take these three out one two three to release it and obviously you could just pull this off right here this just pries out just put your pry tool in and you could pry it out now the way you take this off if you look up here you see right in there see that space right there a flathead goes right in between there now there's one on this side and there's one right here on the other side one on this side and then one right on the other side all you do you put the flathead in pry it this piece comes down this piece the whole entire piece literally comes down and you pull it out now these clips back here there's a little bit of trick to them when you put your pry tool in you don't put it all the way underneath just a like say less than an eighth and let me show you what i mean you put it in there see how it comes down because if you put it in all the way you're going to be you might possibly be going under this white piece so you don't want to do that you need to release the black piece first in order to release the white piece so now once the black piece comes out now you can put your pry tool right here boom and it releases and it pops out All right, guys, so that piece is out. Now, I just want to show you guys something real quick. See, notice how there's one, two of these clips that remain, but one, two are missing. That is because they remained in here. One here and one all the way down there. Take these out and put them back in because it will be hard to slide this stuff back in when you're done. These clips are very, because I've never taken any, these things never got taken out before. They are very hard to come out. So all you gotta do is take these out of here. Um, by the way, guys, be careful. Your airbag is right here, so don't mess around. If you wanna feel more comfortable, you could disconnect your battery. I didn't disconnect mine because we're really not doing anything with it, but if it makes you feel comfortable, do that. So anyway, take this out, this one out, and just put it back right in here. So all you gotta do when you're ready to put this piece back in, you just pop it in. You just smack it in instead of having to try to slide it into the slot right here, which you won't be able to do. All right, so once both sides of the safety bars are out and that plastic panel and uh, three clips, you can just pull this piece down right here. And that is the nut that you have to take out right there. All right, so I, all I did was I took a channel lock, just slightly loosen this nut, you'll be able to take it off. And this is the setup right here. Now just put that somewhere safe and that is so now there's two little clips once you squeeze them the whole antenna is literally loose on top of the car and you have to disconnect these two clips right here this uh purple one right there and this white one and to be able to pull it through all right guys so once you disconnect this purple piece here from the other little purple piece right there and this white piece you can pull it through by the way that purple piece it had like some type of freaking electrical tape that was like duct tape and a sponge on it you definitely want to take that shit off so you can separate the two pieces because you got to push down and i don't know which tech at subaru thought that bullshit up but it is freaking annoying i literally had to get like a surgical knife to get that thing off so the uh, food for thought all right so as i showed you before once you disconnect the connections below you can pull this stuff through just like so here we go and that's how you got the antenna out all right guys just a heads up you got to remove about 17 screws Nine on the outside perimeter, eight smaller ones on the inside. Give money to the 
doors and I made off my will. Tight stuff, but I know I'm a quarter for the loose. All right, so for those of you who don't know, who never took this antenna or ever saw inside of it, there's some crazy circuitry in here. You wouldn't believe it. An antenna looks this complicated on the inside. It's crazy. All right, guys, you already know the deal from the previous vids. Take off the film from the wrap. Wipe down the surface of the antenna with isopropyl alcohol. Make sure there is no smudges or dust or anything on it. You can see I needed help with this one. There are multiple edges on this antenna. It's a small piece, so you think it might be easy, but it is not. It is a pain in the ass to do. I also had to make a slight incision on the back of it because there was a huge tension point towards the back. Anybody who wraps for a living will tell you that antennas are a pain in the ass to do but either way we got it done now once you finish with the top just fold the edges over the bottom apply some heat at the end or post heat and it just grabs to the bottom and you're done all right it's actually done it actually looks pretty good uh just guys note this freaking these shark fins are freaking pain in the ass to wrap Obviously, my daughter and my wife was helping me. It is a pain in the ass. So I actually had to make an incision and overlap and cut. It is so you can you can barely see it, but this is it's there's a seam right there that you can barely see. But yo, this shit came out freaking fire. Fire. It came out really, really good. Really good. And once I freaking once the, the thing about it is once you pull it over nice and cold don't preheat once you pull it over over the seams and then once you post heat it and it just grabs so now that's a nice tight fit then i'm going to be putting the bottom um i'm going to be putting the bolts back in here so it's going to be it's going to be held down even tighter all right guys so i'm back in the garage shit looks freaking dope just gotta wipe it down obviously this shit loves fingerprints just gotta put it back on and then freaking clean up this mess so here we go put them to bed but they can't stay nah upgrade from your prepaid ah make it rain no i've been in a space got it in a model x tesla i've been in a space got it in a model x tesla i've been driving with my hands up driving with my hands up i've been driving with no hands i've been driving with my hands up driving with my hands up i've been driving with no hands i've been in a space all right folks so it is a little late but that shit came out freaking fire no lie no lie have to just to, to do it though you're gonna have to like kind of like gut the inside to the top of the car but hey it's all well worth it as I said, these shark fins, even from other YouTubers who guys who actually rap as pros, they'll tell you the shark fin is super, super hard to do. So I'm actually proud of myself. And I had some help from my daughter and the wife. Looks super, super clean. Matches my uh, rear view mirror. And that's pretty much it, man. Hey, I'm impressed with myself. Thanks for watching. And I will see y'all soon. Peace.